All right, guys, everybody, continue. Today we're unboxing a Zeus Prime 590p Wi-Fi motherboard. So I got this. Uh, it was like maybe 200 bucks, but um, I got this because I'm going to be building a new rig. And uh, this has all the things I want. It has uh, Windows 11. It's an LGA 1200, so it'll fit uh, the older model um, CPUs, which I did buy, which I'll unbox in a minute. But uh, yeah, so this we're gonna box this today. So take a good, good look at this motherboard, guys. Now this one has Wi-Fi 6. That's the one. This is the reason why I picked this version. <clears throat> There's a version that doesn't have Wi-Fi, by the way. Uh, but it's it's way cheaper, but you won't you won't get those benefits of Wi-Fi. So so you'll see here LGA 1200 Optane memory PCI 4.0 uh, 5.0 is out, uh, but you won't get that with the these types of motherboards. So you'll see right there. Here's the back. If you guys want to read it? Pause the video. So you'll get. Uh, so it has actually a pretty good back I/O. So you got like uh, USB 3.2. Uh, you'll get uh, two point uh, two two point oh ports, a display port as well, HDMI port in the back. So you can get a you can put in like an i5 that has a uh, integrated graphics in there as well if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you got uh, M.2 with a little bit of a heatsink on it. And then you got uh, ooh, a surge protecting. That's pretty cool. And flexible heatsink. Here we go. Yeah, Ethernet jack. And it's an LGA 1200 socket, so you want to see that. So for like 10th gen, uh, this will work good for 11th gen. Not the 12th gen, but it'll. this is like last year's model, but it's pretty good. All right, let's open this up. I'm gonna open it right here, and I'll show you what comes with this. All right, there we go. Check that out. It's a really nice motherboard, actually. I was thinking of um, using this motherboard and swapping it with my other ACUs uh, Strix, but uh, then I'd have to re-put everything back in, and that's eh, just not worth it. But uh, this is a really nice motherboard. So, all right, so let me get this out of the bag. All right, so here's the motherboard, take it out of the bag. All right, so as you can see, you got three uh, PCIe things. Actually, it's a four, it's four. There's a 16, 2X, and 1X there. So you get four, which isn't bad. And then um, you got uh, you got some USBs here. These are, um, like, if you want to set up like a uh, front IO, you can put it there. Four SATA ports right there, and this is your PCI M.2 NVMe drive. Your CPU goes there. Your RAM is right there, and your uh, power supply. That's pretty much it. And your power uh, button is uh, should be here somewhere. Where is it? Okay, so you can put an AIO here as well. So those uh, water cooling has that. Uh, and oh. That's kind of neat. There's an ATX uh, 12 volt. Oh, the CPU power goes here. So. Yeah, alright. So, oh, you get another, there's another port for another M.2 drive here. Cool. So you can actually put two M.2 drive. This, this uh, motherboard I bought is uh, pretty high end actually for a, for a rig, so. Oh, there it is. Powers are right here. All right, guys. Uh, let me see what else is in the box. Okay, just want to show you the rear I/O. There's the Wi-Fi. Oh, it has it has a digital S uh, speed diff, uh, SPDIF right there. Uh, USB ports, HDMI. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice board. So, okay, so it comes with a manual. You got your uh, antenna for your Wi-Fi, and what are these? Oh, you got a couple of screws for the motherboard. What is this? Some sort of sticker thing to glue it. Oh, your front I.O. cables. Um, oh, no, sir, these are SATA cables. Comes with a couple of SATA cables and the rear I.O. Uh, shield. That's pretty much it, guys. 
Alright, stay tuned for my build, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, help the channel out, and we'll see you on the next one.